The Prime Minister announced in a national address this week that professional athletes can now resume training under emergency orders. Charles Fisher spoke with some of them. It was the good news that most of our locally based elite athletes wanted to hear. They can now resume training. Chairman of the National Sports Authority, Burton Rogers, however, indicating that before they can resume their training, some protocols will have to be put in place. What we're going to do is allow um, the athletes to come in with a schedule. So what we'll do is look at their schedule and look at our schedule and prepare for each one of these athletes to come in at a two-hour interval. So you're allowed to come into the stadium and use it for about two hours. And you could not be of a group of more than, than 10 persons. Obviously, we'll have um, staffing at the stadium just to make sure that the facility is available um, and open for those athletes to come in and, and train. Both tracks will be open at the stadium for the athletes to come in and train. With many international sporting organizations now scrambling to find safe havens to complete their seasons, the centrally all-in-one location of the Queen Elizabeth Sports Center may be a hub. We're actually looking forward to it. I've been in, in contact uh, with some of those organizations uh, via uh, Rick Fox, who, is, who has been in contact with a lot of the um, different agencies, uh, to let them know that you know once this, um, once the world opens for business again, we would be very, very interested to having conversation of trying to host um, some of these uh, international events. Obviously, with all the measures that would be put in place. Um, not only locally by the government, by the Bahamas, but, uh, and by the NSA, but also measures that will be put in place globally on how we move forward in, in hosting these events in the very near future. But 100% we're looking forward to entertaining those conversations, and the NSA will be ready uh, to host those events. Now, prior to COVID, the Kendall Jill Isaacs gym was undergoing renovations after being used as a hurricane shelter. Work has stopped, but should resume soon. We were also in the process of talking to other vendors to come in and do more work. There, there needs to be extensive work done at the, at the gym. Um, so the time frame on getting that completed, I can't give you an exact date, but right now we have nothing on the calendar. So we're looking forward to getting those um, vendors back to work and, and getting that work um, uh, finished so we'll be available as soon as possible. But like I said, right now we have nothing on the calendar. So this is a good time for us to get those vendors, finalize their agreement, and they can come in there and, and uh, get that work done. I'm Charles Fischel.